In this video, we will continue exploring the relationship between arc length, arc measure, and radius. Okay. We're given the arc measure this time. Okay, so we're given that um, this whole an central angle, all right, which is the same as the arc measure, is 321 degrees. That's theta. We're given that the arc length is 92. Okay, so this whole length is 92 centimeters. Okay, and we're, st we're looking for the radius. So this is going to be um, really the same thing as before. So uh, remember the idea, uh, I think I'll write it down low and then erase it. We know that the arc length is always some fraction of the circumference. Okay, the arc length is a fraction of the circumference. Uh, so we know the arc length is 92. So I'm going to put 92 in for L. So I've got 92 equals. We know that theta is 321. So the fraction is 321 over 360. Okay, that's the fraction of the circumference. Uh, we know that the, circ the circumference is 2 pi r. So I'm going to go ahead and just put 2 pi r for the circumference. All right, so I'm just substituting everything I know into the formula. Okay, so now I'm going to erase this because I think I'm going to need the space. Um, we're supposed to find the radius, so I'm just solving for r. Okay, um, so what I can do is multiply both sides by 360. So I can multiply by 360 over here and I can multiply by 360 over here. All right, that way the 360s cancel each other out. And then I have 92 times 360. All right, so that's 33,120. Okay, and that's equal to 321 times 2 pi r. I'm trying to get r by itself. So I can simply divide both sides by 321 times 2 pi. Okay, 321 times 2 pi. All right, that way the 321 times 2 pi, that cancels itself out and leaves r by itself. So I'm ready to say what r is. I can just put all this in my calculator. All right, so 33,120 over 321 times 2 pi. 16.42 and the units are centimeters so there you go okay let's see what's up with number seven a pizza with diameter uh, 14 inches um, well right away let, let's just know that uh, if the diameter is 14 that means the radius is 7 okay is cut into 8 congruent slices what is the length of the crust on each slice okay um, now the length of the crust that's like the L of our formula in fact, I think I'll just, I'll, I'm going to write the formula real big right here. The formula goes like this. The arc length is equal to some fraction times the circumference. That's the formula. All right. Now, this fraction is always, um, we can find the fraction by taking the, uh, the degrees 
of the uh, you know the little angle which is the same as the arc measure and dividing by 360. Now I don't have to do that this time uh, because we already know that uh, the pizza is divided into eight slices. So I know if I look at one slice, I already know that that is one eighth of the pizza. Okay, so I don't have to. I don't have to figure out how many degrees that is. I, I already know the fraction is one eighth. Okay, so it's one eighth times the circumference. Okay, now the circumference is 2 pi r, right? So that's 2 pi times 7. Um, so that's going to be 14 pi. Okay, fine. I feel a little bit silly because another way of saying circumference is to do pi times diameter. And they gave me the diameter. So I could have just said, oh, uh, the diameter is 14 then circumference is 14 pi. So that would have been slightly quicker. Anyway, I've got it now. All right, so the circumference is 14 pi. So I've got my fraction times the circumference, which is 14 pi. All right, I'm just going to simplify this out. Now, if you didn't realize that, hey, the fraction is 1 8th, um, you still could have done the problem. You, you just would have done like this. Um, you would have figured out how many degrees each slice is. And there's eight slices, so you would have done 360 divided by 8. And you would have gotten 45. Okay? So that would tell you that each slice is 45. So then you would have said you would have said um, L is equal to 45 out of 360 times 14 pi. This would give you the same answer. Okay, because guess what? 45 out of 360, of course, is 1 eighth of the pizza. All right, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my calculator. So this would be 1 eighth times 14 pi. Okay, so that's 7 pi over 4. I think I'll write that down. Okay, but that's equal to 5.50. Uh, 49 has to round up to 50. So 5.50. And these are inches. OK, so that's the length of the crust. OK, that's the, uh, the crust is the arc length. All right. Now, another larger pizza is also cut into eight congruent slices. If each slice has a 7.07 .07 inch uh, crust, okay, so basically, basically they are telling us that the arc length here is 7.07. .07. They're giving us the arc length. Okay, um, again, we already know the fraction is 1 eighth, all right? each slice is one eighth of the pizza. So we can just go with one eighth. All right, if you're, if for some reason you're not comfortable with the fact that the, uh, each slice is one eighth of the pizza, then you would have to calculate f that this is 45 degrees and your fraction will be 45 out of 360, which is the same thing. Okay. Um, Okay, they want to know what is the pizza's diameter. All right, so our formula goes like this. The arc length is equal to some fraction okay, of the circumference. All right, that's the formula that we use over and over again. All right, but I'm going to substitute in the things that we know. We know the arc length is 7.07. .07. We know the fraction is 1 eighth. 
All right, or you could have put 45 out of 360. Okay, um, we know that the circumference is 2 pi times the radius. Or it would be even more clever to put pi times diameter right now. Okay, um, but some students only know 2 pi r, so I'm just going to stick with that. So let's solve this for the radius, which of course will give us the diameter. Um, I mean, do you guys understand that uh, if this is a circle, okay, if this is the radius, like say the radius was 10, um, the diameter is the entire way ac across. So if the radius is 10, what's the diameter going to be? All right, if r is 10, then the diameter is 20. All right, so just double checking to make sure you guys know that the diameter is just double the radius. Okay, so if you sort of keep that in mind, then the diameter is going to be 2r. So that's kind of what we're looking for. What's 2r? What's a double radius? Um, anyway, I think I will multiply both sides by 8 first. All right, multiply by that denominator. All right, that will cancel out those 8s. Fifty six point fifty six. That's a fun thing to write. So I've got fifty six point fifty six is equal to two pi r. Okay, normally I would divide both sides by 2 pi right now and get r by itself. But since I really want the diameter, okay, the diameter is double the radius. The diameter is 2r. And I have 2 and r right there. So what I really want to do is just divide by pi. Okay, that will leave 2r by itself, which is the diameter. All right, so I'm going to put this in my calculator. So 2r is equal to whatever this is. OK, so 56.56 over pi. OK, so that's 18.00. All right, so the diameter is 18.00 inches. OK, that brings us down to the last problem. The inner edge of a horse racing track has two straight sides, boom and boom, all right, 1,300 feet each, and two semicircular ends diameter 820 feet. Find the perimeter of the track's inner edge. Okay, so let's zoom in on this. Okay, so um, we are just looking at the inner edge. So we're looking at... So look, basically this is what we're trying to find the length of. Two of these and two of these. And then that'll be the perimeter. So zooming out a little bit, all right, so we can say the perimeter is going to be, uh, it's going to be one of these, all right, plus two of these, plus another one of these. All right, that's what the perimeter is. Um, now the two straight pieces, we already know what they are. But what about the curved pieces? Okay, now these curved pieces are arcs. And what is the formula for arc length? Well, when we do arc length, what we do is the length is equal to some fraction 
of the circumference, some fraction of the circumference. Now, guess what? We know what this fraction is. How much of a circle is this? All right, this is a semicircle. The fraction is half. All right, I mean, I guess you could sit here and, and put 180 out of 360 if you want to, but like you know it's half. So the arc length is going to be half of the circumference. And uh, the circumference is, um, you could either say 2 pi times the radius, or, or if you double the radius, that's the diameter. Okay, um, so can you see that this 120 feet, that's two radii put together. That's two r. All right, so this length, um, you know what? I'm, I'm, I, I keep being afraid I'm going to lose somebody. So maybe I'll just do, maybe, I'll, maybe I won't get fancy. Um, if this is 820 all the way across, all right, that's the diameter. Um, then you can understand that if I take 820 and divide it by 2, that's going to give me the radius. So maybe I should just do it that way so I don't confuse anybody. All right, so the radius is um, 410 feet. Okay, so that means the arc length is going to be half times 2 pi r, so 2 pi 410. So this arc length, well look, half of 2 is 1. So these basically cancel each other out. So that's going to leave me with um, 410 pi. Okay, so that's the arc length. All right, that's how big each one of these is, 410 pi feet. Okay, so getting back to my uh, perimeter. Okay, I know that the perimeter is going to be one of these, which I just found to be 410 pi. Okay, and then it's going to be plus... All right, one of these, which is 1,300 feet. All right, plus another 1,300. Okay, and then it's going to be plus another one of these, which is uh, the 410 pi. Okay, add all that up, and that should be the perimeter. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, what did they say? Did they tell us to put it in decimals or anything? Um, all right, well, I'm going to assume that they want two decimal places. Okay, so we have 410 pi plus 1,300 plus another 1,300, plus another 410 pi. That's 5,176.11 feet. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.